Hi, my name is Thiago Novello. I'm going to present our work at Graphical Interface 2020 entitled Immersive Visualization of the Classical Non-Euclidean Spaces Using Real-Time Ray Tracing in VR. This work presents a system for immersive visualization of the classical non-Euclidean spaces using real-time ray tracing. It uses the power of the NVIDIA RTX GPUs to explore non-trivial geometry and topology in virtual reality. Historically, the main attempt for visualization of non-Euclidean space took place at the Geometry Center from 1994 to 1998. This program, under the leadership of William Thurston, studied and disseminated modern geometry. One of Thurston's students, Jeff Wicks, wrote the beautiful and well-known book, The Shape of Space. Recently, Berg et al. proposed a ray tracing algorithm for the visualization of Euclidean space using GPUs. The results are not in real time and visualize only Euclidean and hyperbolic geometries. Rays in such space can be modeled as straight lines. In our paper, we integrate real-time ray tracing in virtual reality in NVIDIA's Falco in order to obtain inside views of the Euclidean, the hyperbolic, and the spherical manifolds. The main contribution of our work is the development of an experimental platform for the immersive visualization of Euclidean, hyperbolic, and spherical space using real-time ray tracing. It includes the design and implementation of a framework for creating an interactive experience in three-dimensional spaces. The system is implemented on top of NVIDIA's Falco using DirectX 12 on Windows 10. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first project that uses RTX combining real-time ray tracing in virtual reality for the exploration of abstract mathematical landscapes. The paper deals with ray tracing in non-Euclidean geometries. Thus, at least three properties are required. First, being locally similar to a Euclidean space, that is, a manifold. This allows us to model the viewer and the scene inside the space. Second, to simulate effects produced between the lights and the scene, we need a, a tangent space with a scalar product at each point. And third, we need a ray leaving a point in any direction in its intersection with the scene objects. Geometric manifolds satisfy such properties. These objects have their geometry similar to a special space called model geometry. Model geometries date back to the famous Thurston geometrization conjecture, solved in 2003 by Gregory Perman. The conjecture states that every compact three manifold decomposed into pieces with their geometry modeled by Thurston geometries. We focus on three such geometries the Euclidean, the hyperbolic, and the spherical. On the left, the Euclidean space is the three-dimensional vector space endowed with the classical winner product. Rays in these geometries are straight lines. And as everyone knows, the sum of the inside angles of any triangle is an 180 degrees. On the middle, the hyperbolic space is the set of points in the four-dimensional vector space with Lorentzian norm equals to minus one. Rays in these geometries are hyperboles, and the triangle are thin. On the right, the spherical space is the set of points in four-dimensional vector space with the Euclidean norm equals to one. Rays in this geometry are big circles, and the triangle are fat. In dimension two, for example, there are exactly three geometry models. We give one example of a compact surface for each geometry. On the left, the two-dimensional toro admits an, an Euclidean geometry, does identify the opposite sides of a square. On the middle, the bitorus has a hyper hyperbolic structure. For this, we identify in a special way the edge of a regular polygon of eight sides. Any other orientable compact surface except the sphere and the torus is constructed in a similar way. For a spherical surface, identify in a reverse direction the opposite edges 
of the sphere cap. This is the projective space. In dimension three, there are five more modus geometries. However, this work focuses on the, on the classical. Probably the most famous example of compact free manifolds is the flat torus, which is obtained by gluing the opposite face of the cube. For a compact hyperbolic three manifold, we identify each pair of opposite face in a regular dodecahedron with an additional clockwise rotation of three pi divided by 10. This is the Seifter Weber dodecahedron space. The face pairing produces many identification. For example, you can verify that the edges are grouped into six groups of five. Thus, the desired dodecahedron should have a dihedral angle of 72 degrees. We use the hyperbolic geometry to model this manifold. For a spherical manifold, we identify the opposite face of the dodecahedron with a clockwise rotation of pi divided by five. This is the Poincaré dodecahedron space. Again, the face pairing forces main identification. Thus, the edges are grouped into 10 groups of three edges. To model the geometry of such space, the dihedral angle must be 120 degrees. In this case, we use spherical geometry. Let's present the basic ray tracing algorithm for geometrical manifolds and compare it with the traditional ray tracing of Euclidean spaces. As can be verified in the algorithm, rays are generated from the view in line one to three and intersected with visible objects in line five. And if there is a heat in line six, shading is done in line seven. These steps are presented in our ray tracing algorithm, including the traditional ones. In the case of ray tracing inside the geometrical manifold, we need extra steps to guide the path of a ray as it exits and enters the fundamental domain. This corresponds to line 9, 10, and 12. The ray tracing GPU's code runs under a pipeline composed of a sequence of stages designed for a ray tracing operations. Each of these corresponds with tasks in the algorithm as illustrated in the pipeline. We provide some results. On the left side, an inside view of the flat torus. We use the cube to set up our scene, which is a unique monkey mesh endowed with hands and the cube edges. The face pairing produces the a tessellation of the Euclidean space. On the middle, an immersive visualization of the Seifert Weber dodecahedron. We use the dodecahedron to set up our scene. Again, the face pair makes the rays that leave a face returns, tessellating the hyperbolic space by dodecahedron. Finally, the right side presents an inside visualization of Poincaré dodecahedron space. Again, this tessellates the sphere by the decahedra, resulting in a regular polytope called 120 cell. We also provide examples of nine manifolds. On the left side, an immersive visualization of the mirrored cube, obtained by considering the face of a cube to be perfect mirrors. On the right side, an immersive visualization of the mirrored the decahedra, obtained by considering the faces of a hyperbolic dodecahedron to be perfect hyperbolic mirrors. We present the analysis of the results using our framework. This includes computational performance, interaction, and space perception. The left side show experiments to evaluate the performance of our algorithm in current VR devices. To give the user a better perception of the mirrored room, we attach models of the left and right hands to the left and right controls of the HC wire. We also add the edge of the fundamental domain to give a better perception of the space. Currently, we adopt only a local illumination model for shading. However, we have already started some experience to incorporate path trace in our framework. Preliminary results are shown on the left. We also have extended our work for, to the visualization of other torsion geometries. See the right side. 
Thank you.